What's up, YouTube? Figured I'd bring you guys an update on this uh, F-350. Uh, I got it to start yesterday, and I decided to put the tank... I was going to go to check at Ford for some fuel lines, but then the, the guy who owns this, his dad, still kind of the boss at their little company that they run. Anyways, he called me yesterday and said he blew up his truck. It's knocking like crazy. And then he needs something ASAP. So this is, uh, I guess he's going to borrow his boy's truck for a few days. But so I, I took a couple of, I, I just had that one piece of black hydraulic line. And then I, I had some more of that hydraulic line. So I put it on the uh, the fuel lines and it, it's working. It doesn't drip and it's all together and everything is legit with it. But uh, so he's, the customer is supposed to be here, here in just a little bit with the new uh, AC compressor. You can see this one doesn't, uh, he no turn. But uh, I figure I'd show you guys my, my garage here. There's no light in here and there's no nothing, but this is just kind of the hole where the compressor came out of. You have to take a whole bunch of stuff apart to uh, get to the, compressor period and it's it's a pain and if you disconnect the battery on this truck it takes 30 minutes for the alarm to stop freaking out so I just wrap this glove around this positive post and I'm just going from there anyways um, uh, I guess that's uh, just a little update the I don't know if I'll get another video on this truck or not it starts up and runs fine now it doesn't uh, seem like it idles bad or anything i mean it seems smooth i will uh i'll try to get a real quick uh just drive down the road and back video in it when i get the ac compressor put back on but for now i'm not going to get to change any more filters or anything like that because they need this truck as they're trying to rapidly rapidly gather cattle and do a bunch of different stuff that they've got to get done before it gets cold too so i'm not going to get to uh flush out the lines or put a new accumulator or nothing like that on it i'm just going to add some oil into the accumulator and add some oil into the lines and uh, a little bit of oil in the compressor and turn it a few times and put it on there and hope for the best um that's that's really where where they're at with their time schedule right now and that's i understand so that's what i i'm gonna do anyways i will let you guys in on it uh hopefully for a test drive video if not i'll let you guys know on my next video that everything went well with it so thank you